There have been a few animal cruelty cases here in Montana recently, including acts against horses, cattle, and dogs. Tonight, MTN's Emma Hamilton reports on the latest case near Big Sky. Uh, Phil violated. It's almost like somebody broke into your house. I mean, it was a typical morning routine for Greg Hodge, which includes feeding his horses. He quickly noticed something different. His horse Ruby had a shorter tail that was clearly cut with scissors. Most people think when they cut a tail that it's really just hair, but to a horse, it's part of their well-being and impacts their daily life. First of all, it doesn't grow back like, like human hair. You know, horses need this kind of hair on their tails to swat flies uh, for balance walking down trails, and it's just uh, it's a very vital part of their, of their makeup. Hodge contacted the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office immediately, and they are currently looking into the case and following a few leads. Since the incident, Hodge has installed LED lights outside his home to be able to keep a closer eye on his horses at night. Trying to explain to his young children why someone would do this hasn't been the easiest. And this is just an example of, you know, it kind of ruins your peace of mind knowing that your animals are, you do your best to feed and take care of them and protect them just like you do your children and anything else. And when somebody comes and, and violates that trust, it's, it's a little difficult. So going forward, I just hope people keep a little more vigilant on their animals and keep their eyes open. If they see anything, let people know. In Big Sky, Emma Hamilton. MTN News. And Emma reminds us anyone with information regarding this uh, incident is urged to contact their local law enforcement. Coming up, we